Hello everyone, so this is just a really quick video to give you a little tip on how to speed up RO systems like this one here. This is a passive system, so it's not pumped, it just runs straight off of tap pressure coming in to the input line here. And it's a really simple little modification you can do to basically speed up the uh, throughput of water through the filter system and get the quantity that you need a little bit faster, or that's certainly what it's done for my setup. I've got to give a little shout out here to Stuart Prince who gave me this idea. Uh, after discussing the plumbing in of his system kind of permanently in the brewery and how it had speeded up uh, the output from his filter system. Uh, all it is really super simple. If you shorten the input line, so the quarter inch input pipe here down as much as you can, as you can see I've done here, this can really help to increase the pressure going into uh, the filter stages and therefore give you a faster uh, filtering of the water and get water coming out of the output much quicker. Uh, the reason for that is essentially these quarter inch pipes are going to step the pressure down from the tap if you have a significant length of it. So um, to be honest, I'm quite surprised I didn't realise this a lot sooner when I was looking at these setups because we've all seen how when you're using uh, kegs, for example, so like in this Kiza, um, we'll use narrow gauge tubing to step the pressure down and you get exactly the same effect here from tap pressure where you run it through um, I think this was probably about four or five foot of tubing before I cut it down so that's going to drop the tap pressure down and as some of you may know these RO systems are very dependent in terms of how quickly they will filter on the tap pressure that's actually coming into them or the water pressure that you have um, at home so anything like this the input tube which is actually sort of stepping that pressure down is obviously going to then um, slow down the output from the system itself. So like I said, all I did was just cut down the input line here. Um, I've only got a couple of inches left there and then the hose pipe connector just goes straight in on that. That's made quite a big difference for me. Prior to doing that, I think I was getting about uh, just under five litres per hour or less and it's more like seven, seven and a half now. So a pretty significant increase um, in speed and efficiency. And it saved me a lot of time in terms of filtering. So I can get um, enough for a full batch in probably maybe two or three hours less than what I was looking at beforehand, um, which is great. So well worth a go if you're using an RO system like this and it will speed things up for you, um, certainly in my experience anyway. You may also find that cutting down the waste outlet might help as well. I've not done that myself, but I know other people who've tried doing that and um, they've noticed a bit of an improvement through cutting down the waste outlet as well as the input. Um, that's something I may try soon. Um, at the moment, I haven't done that because I need that length of line to get it to the uh, the drain when I'm using it. So, so yeah. Um, Little tip there just to speed things up, give it a go, and uh, let me know if that works for you as well. Cheers. I'm the dude, so that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that or uh, his dudeness or uh, duder or, uh, you know, El Duderino if you're not into the whole brevity thing.